Uh, he has, though, more money coming, as much as $40 million he's still walking away with in retirement benefits. So he's not going to be poor, not by a long shot, Karen. Uh, as you know, Countrywide has been in the focus because this company was the nation's largest uh, mortgage lender. And now, of course, it's been taken over by Bank of America, which bought it out in a fire sale. It's another Big story. It's another disconnect with Main Street because most people don't get rewarded when, when things go wrong at their job. Right. And, and this is what we see with <laughs> these CEOs. Over and over and over again. Let's take a look at a couple other CEOs, as a matter of fact, who have gone through the same thing. Poor performance. They get rewarded. They forego severance. And people like Stanley Neal, who ran Merrill Lynch, walks away with $161.5 million. Charles Prince, similar story here. Citigroup uh, taking big uh, losses. He walks away with twenty-nine and a half million. Uh, both, all three of these fellas uh, forego severance, mm. uh, but still walk away with lots of money. And I think it's a big question for folks out there: pay for performance? Maybe not. Yeah, doesn't seem fair.